Uh, this is my testimony. My wife and I, after many, many years of living as husband and wife, had uh, felt that something was missing in our lives. And we were uh, thinking that we needed to go to church uh, because we thought that maybe that was it. And uh, I was raised in one faith and my wife was raised in another faith, uh, a religion or whatever you want to call it. And uh, But we decided not to, we couldn't gel on it. So we went to this small church that some friends had gone to that their brother-in-law was uh, was the minister of, and, uh, and uh, we started to uh, attend that church. But my wife, from the, from the church she used to attend uh, in her hometown, uh, she was raised to always wear dresses. And uh, so we had to go out and get her some dresses at, at the stores. And so she bought several dresses and other clothes to wear, and of course the, the stuff that goes with it, and I was always a slack and shirt man, so everything was okay with me. And uh, so, and we went and bought some Bibles, and we started going to the church, and, and we we were only going to go on Sunday mornings, with none of this going Sunday nights and Wednesday night stuff and all that. And uh, uh, But as we were going and learning, it seems like that what was going to be talked about that night on Sunday nights uh, we saw was interesting, so we decided we'd go there and listen and talk and, and, and hear that, and that was good. And then a little while later, uh, there was doing a study session on Wednesday night, and uh, we started going there. And it was amazing that we just started just continually going and wanting to be at church a, a lot. But we were uh, driving into town one day, and uh, we were discussing how we had put money out for the Bibles and bought her dresses and clothes and stuff to go to church. And we were discussing it, and I looked at her and said, "Boy, we spent a lot of money. This had better take." And uh, we laughed about that. And it seems like um, within a month, uh, she uh, her dresses would have to be sent to a um, uh, dry cleaners, and so we would put them in this bag, and it turns out it was a garbage bag or whatever. And our son one week accidentally threw them out and we were just devastated flabbergasted and uh, so she wanted to know what to do because they were quite expensive and uh, we said well let's go see what we could find at the store and she went back to the stores that she had gotten those dresses at and and the amazing thing was that uh, it, she could she found the exact same dresses and clothes that she had gotten that had been thrown out exactly like that in her size on the clearance rack and that would be impossible because her size is not that common I mean you know it, it, it normally wasn't even kept in the store but it was amazing that they were there and so we were just amazed and, and kept you know said well there's something being told to us we just didn't know what and uh, so we attended the revival, which was the first time for us it was coming up in the church. And we started attending that. And uh, mind you, this is well past the going on Sunday mornings only thing there. And it, this uh, minister that was doing the revival was a uh, minister for the deaf. And, uh, and I was touched by what he had to say and, and by what the word he was preaching. And, and, and my wife was. And uh, through that revival, we talked to our pastor, and he took me, I was convicted, and he took me through the plan of salvation, and my wife became convicted, and she went through the plan of salvation. And that was uh, approximately 14 years ago. And I feel like it's never been a mistake on my part. I just feel that the Lord is in my heart and very happy with it and uh, uh, and very happy to be saved.